Tina, thank you. And from Hialeah to the streets of downtown Miami, hundreds pounded the pavement in support of their loved ones still struggling on the island. 7 Elitza Bezios is live in Miami Lakes where a crowd is gathering there this morning. Elitza. Yeah, but I said this crowd gathering uh, about an hour ago, and they're standing here in Miami Lakes on the road near Northwest 154th Street and Northwest 82nd Avenue, holding signs, waving flags, all wanting what so many Cuban Americans want, and that is liberty for those in Cuba. If Cuba is on the streets, Miami is on the streets. The message heard and seen loud and clear in South Florida as demonstrations continued into the night Wednesday. Leading this crowd, Cuban-born Miami police chief Art Acevedo. You don't see this city burning. You don't see things being destroyed. And, uh, and you see people exercising the First Amendment rights. The march starting earlier in the day near Bayfront Park. The chief at one point seen here consoling ralliers as emotions run high. Demonstrators say the Cuban people have been oppressed for far too long. SOS Cuba. Support seen on the water too. These Cuban Americans on a mission to make sure those in Cuba know they are not alone. The plan today is to uh, get an approval from the Coast Guard to go out and uh, be at least as short, uh, as close as possible to short of Cuba and get flares out so that we can let the Cuban people know we're there. The Coast Guard has warned people against making the trip because of how dangerous it is. But George Lopez, who came to America from Cuba at 11 years old, says he and dozens of others will make the journey once they're approved. As of right now, we got 67. We're trying to get us close as 200 bolts as possible. Hialeah, passionate protesters blocking traffic standing in the middle of West 49th Street, demanding an end to the suffering they say their loved ones are faced with, many without food, electricity, and even medicine. My family is one of them suffering. I haven't heard from my grandpa in the longest time. I have been able to talk to them. There's so many people missing. There's so many people dead, and nobody's doing anything about it. Other demonstrations on Wednesday. <laughs> one near Homestead Air Reserve Base, and of course in Little Havana, where there were chants, messages, and music. But those here, including Miami's mayor, saying this is not a celebration. A lot of the people in the crowd, their family members, their friends, are in Cuba right now and are experiencing the most brutal repression. And back out here live in Miami Lakes, we are at Northwest 154th Street and Northwest 82nd Avenue. The chanting here, liberty for the Cubans in Cuba. They are out here. They are showing their support like so many have. And with all of these different demonstrations happening, you can always head to our website, WSVN. Dot com where we will put information as we get it uh, as far as road closures and, and other things of that sort. For now, we are live in Miami Lakes. Elite Sabizios today in Florida.